Have you ever walked in the gym and then you look down at your feet and you're like, should I be wearing these in the gym? Yes, you have, don't lie, I saw you. We all saw you. Well, let's try to fix that problem. Today, I'm gonna answer the question of, what shoes should I be wearing to the gym? And it's not an easy answer. Well, it's easy, but it's, well, it's better done than said, or said than done. You know what I'm trying to say. All right, let's, let's go check it out. Yeah, so I actually switched gear just to like get into like full sneakerhead like attire because I feel like if I'm talking about shoes, I should look like I know what I'm talking about when I'm talking about shoes. I still don't consider myself a sneakerhead, but I like shoes, man, and I, I do some stuff with Nike too, so it, it makes sense. What doesn't make sense, I don't know why I'm wearing sunglasses indoors. I should probably change that up. I don't, I don't know why I was doing that. If you want to know exactly what shoe you should be wearing to the gym, go with what feels good. That being said, do not wear flip-flops to the gym. Don't be that guy. I've seen it before, people come in the new Yeezy, like the foam runners, and I'm like, what are you doing, bro? If a plate falls on your foot, that's it. There is no cushion, there's like just straight toenail and metal, bro. Like it's that, like it's done, That's you're done. Honestly, man, it really depends on what you're doing that day. So depending on what the day is, I'll wear different shoes according to my workout. Like if it's chest day and I'm not doing any cardio, You'll see me, I'll swag out. I'll swag out for chest day. People look at me like I'm crazy, but I'll, I'll end up wearing like some Travis Scott's, like may, maybe the 270s, maybe. I won't wear like ones or that, or something like that. If I do wear ones, if I'm wearing like some ones or something, I might wear like some homage to homes. These are bent up anyway, you can see the crease in them. I don't care, I, I personally think ones look better when they're creased. Cause I mean, it means, you know, people are actually wearing the sneakers. I don't get that about some sneakers. Like some people, they just buy the shoe just to look at them. Like, I'm gonna pay these hundreds of dollars so I can look at it. Like, what do you get out of that, bro? I buy shoes to wear them. I mean, that's just me. Can't say that for everybody. Now, me personally, I won't say that this is a gym shoe because it's not. But this shoe does have like a more athletic look. Like, it's pretty versatile whenever you wear it. The Yeezy V2 Belugas, like, this is probably like my, my go-to. This is like my everyday shoe. I'll wear this shoe like when I leave the house. Like, the second I leave the house, I'm probably slipping these on. They're quick, they're beat up there. The bottom is almost brown at this point. Like it's, it's not even gray, it's almost like brown green at this point. I wanna say this, if you're doing anything with legs, you wanna wear some flat form shoes. If you see somebody wearing some Converse, some Chuck Taylors, that's, you want some flat shoes if you're gonna be doing like barbell squat because you don't want to raise your heels off the ground too much. These keep your feet level on the ground and they allow you to push the power out through your heels because that's what you should be doing if you're doing squats anyway. Another pair of flat shoes that I think are really slept on are the Robux. Robux is a smaller company. I put my own shoelaces in here. I put my own shoelaces in with almost any shoe I have. And these shoes get confused with off-white a lot. I beat these up too, so that's why there's like creases, there's like dirt marks, but they come with the zip tie on them. So some people confuse them with off-white a lot. If people ever question me with this shoe, I'll be like, hey man, nice off-white. So I'll be like, appreciate it and walk off and just like keep going. <laughs> I think Robux is definitely a, a definitely a slept on shoe. They're, they're pretty good and they're, they're flat form. I would say this is a gym shoe. They're not necessarily comfortable to walk in, but they're comfortable enough for the gym. Wear the shoe that fits the workout for the day. If you were running, I would wear running shoes. If you're doing squats, I would wear some flat form shoes. And if you're just there to, you know, do chest or pull ups or arms, I don't know, you ask me, I'd say swag out, bro. I, I, I'd go all out. Just make sure if you're a sneakerhead, Wear your shoes, man. Like every now and then, like wear your shoes. I feel like there's no point in just collecting shoes just to look at them. I can Google a picture of shoes or get an NFT or something like that. Now, wear your shoes, man. I do want to say my intent is not to make this a shoe channel. I I have the Nike in the background every now and then, but this is not a shoe channel. This is a fitness and filmmaking slash photography channel. Or, you know, just kind of like, you know, whatever I'm feeling. But primarily fitness. That being said, I do want to say thank you to Steve at Nike for sending me my shoes today. I just got both the shoes in the free lunch collection. Both the shoes come in the exact same box. It almost looks like like a milk carton box. Like it, that, that's how it's styled, to look like a milk carton. It's, it's kind of bent up. If you send this stuff to Bahrain, it's going to get bent up. So I had them double padded. You got like the little games on there. It has the box contents on the side. I think that's really neat. I'm, I'm real big on attention to detail like that. So this this was pretty big. The wrapping paper on the inside is actually like a school menu. Like it's, it's pretty neat. It shows all the meals for the day. Like as if you were really at school, uh, Monday through Friday. I think it's pretty cool. It's got the kids playing on there. There's a girl on here throwing a Nike check. If these kids are throwing any of these objects, my God, this is a bad day for somebody. If that, bro, if that Nike check hit somebody in the eye, bro, that's game over. The strawberry milk came in today. I really like the aesthetic of this shoe, like the nice suede look of it. The, the attention to detail for me, man. The milk splash in there, I think that's really cool. They actually have like a split. It's literally like a splash of milk. I can't, you can't really tell, but this is, this is a really soft, gummy feel. I would actually like to say that both these shoes are very similar in their aesthetic. 
They both have, oh wow, there are ingredients on the side of both the shoe. Whenever you flip the shoes on the opposite side, there are ingredients right here on the side. I love the coil shoelaces. I think that that's a really cool touch. And that suede, man, there's something about that suede. I don't want to get too much into shoes, just know I'm, I like shoes. I'm not a sneakerhead per se, but I like shoes. Guys, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and make sure you share it as well. If you want to get really specific into what shoes you should be wearing, write it down in the comments what you think. Like, write down what you have and then I can comment and say whether that's a yay or nay or like don't do that because that's a foul. Also, make sure you subscribe to the channel. We're almost at a thousand. Almost at a thousand. It's crazy. Only if this grew like my Instagram because that is my main platform. I'm also trying to grow my TikTok up as well because TikTok is the future and it is not going anywhere. People say we got rid of it. It's not going anywhere. Anyway, guys, until next time, I'll see you in the gym. Wear the right shoes and wear your shoes, period. Deuces.